Tried your best. I'm, I'm glad you're safe now. We aren't really safe here, are we? So long as Gareth returns, we will be. Samadel and Han. You're alive! Wasn't sure you would be. Samadel, this is the one I told you about. The disheveled blizzard eyes you with hope, though her hope is tinged with mistrust. Han tells me you helped him out of Fort Joy. For that, you have my thanks. Well, we didn't actually go with Han, did we? But uh, I'd say she's welcome. Can I ask you? Did you happen to meet a man named Gareth on your way here? Uh, I didn't meet anybody named Gareth, no. He'll be back, Sam Adele. I know he will. He has to. He has to, indeed. We need our leader. And if he doesn't return with help soon, we have to hope. Uh, can we help somehow? You're kind to offer. But you'd best talk to Gareth's squire, Exeter. He'll know where your talents can be most used. Okay. Now, Han, let's take a look at your nasty leg injury. Let me just try and trade with you first what you got. Oh, look at this. You've got some pyrotechnic skills. Which I actually would like. Peace of mind, we just got that already. Fireball. Pyrotechnic 2, though. Searing daggers. That seems pretty useful. Haste, we've already got somebody with haste. Ignition, seems quite useful. Spontaneous combustion. Okay, supernova. Explode, create the fire surface of doing 67 to 73. Oh, you know, that'd be cool for, that'd be cool for like Red Prince if we got him like into the action. Also some cheese, I'm not sure I'd need some cheese, but. Sure, let's buy that sod. I, I want some more skill books. <laughs> he says having all these skill books uh, but we've got some stuff to sell anyway so that's fine um, oh you don't have that much money okay fine Focus on we'll do that team. we'll do that catch you later skipper it is good you're here oh thanks Han <laughs> oh dear what's going on here the young woman chews her lower lip as she observes the injured before her. She bends to grab a rag, wiping her blood-smeared hands. She looks up and sees you. If you're looking for healing, sorcerer, well, there's not much I can do. Why is that then? She has a lot of the blame. brings the blood-stained rag in her hands anxiously. Magisters aren't known for their mercy. Many of us died. And the ones here will likely follow the same fate by a slower road. There's any more that can be done for the I've injured. done all I can. Their wounds are too great. All I can offer them now is prayer and a cup of water. Ask if you might try your hand helping If them. you know a way, I'd be beyond grateful. Ask if she tried using any magic. magic. All I've got is my own two hands, and, and... She trails off and limply gestures to her paltry makeshift infirmary. I'm not even a healer. Ours was killed in the attack. I'm just a cook. I don't know, I see what I can do. I think we've got a healing potion, haven't we? Someone's got a healing. First aid, there you go. The wound is festering, it needs to be changed. 
I will not be a part of it. Please, please, please. Oh. Enough. 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 Thank you. There's nothing. Ask him. Her Majesty flagship. It has Ballastay that tore our ship into kindling. A shout from our own mast pierced my side. I'm lucky the others managed to haul me all the way here. Especially after I saw what the Magisters did to those of us they captured. He shudders at the memory. They. They turned the living into shriekers. Crucified wretches that unleash pure destruction on anyone who tries to pass. Nobody survives those things. I'll take your nails, and you'll see why in a minute. I wish I had a fitting way to thank the person who saved my life. As it is, all I can offer is, well, it's not much, but maybe you'll find some use for it. Thank you. Some, some useful Thank walk. You. I've no idea what you even gave me. Uh, you, you healed me. Oh, how Scarlet. did you? Oh, never mind. I don't care how. I only care that today won't be my last. <laughs> so it was, it was the least you could do, and ask what happened. I barely had time to, to realize the Magisters were attacking before I was injured. The last thing I saw were these things, these shriekers. A lot of what happened was a blur up for us. But I do remember the screams from those shrieker monstrosities and my own brethren screaming in pain. Those Magisters are going to pay in blood for what they did to us. Ask if he'll be fit for battle when the time comes. He not, with a determined grimace. A lot of what happened was a blur up for us. But I do remember the screams from those shrieker monstrosities and my own brethren screaming in pain. Those magisters are gonna pay in blood for what they did to us. If my mother were here, she'd box my ears for not being able to thank you properly. Though I reckon that walloping from the Reds was punishment enough. Take this, at least. It'll have to do. <sighs> Thank you. Anything's trade? No. Leave me be. How do you have so much power? I'm healed. Well, I'm pretty cool, that's why. All of us. I owe you a debt. We all do. The I Magisters do. attacked our camp back at the harbor. I caught one of their arrows right in my side. That would have been a slow death. I've seen it before. He lands a comradely slap on your back. His strength has definitely returned. Don't you doubt it. This old war serpent still got some fight left in him, especially now that wound is healed. Okay, good. And cup of tea. Obviously, we're going to buy the cup of tea. Cool. Okay. He's lifting. Let's talk to uh, Simone now. Gonna be all right. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Gods above. Thank you. These Hydrophis two, Hydrophis one, Hail Strike, Ice Fan. That's interesting. Restoration. That's pretty good. I'll take restoration. I kind of want all of these though. That's the thing. Um, kills. Oh, that seems good. Yeah, kills burning. You cut up your legs so badly. Soothing cold, regenerate magic armor for all allies around the caster. Seems pretty good. Take that. I can hold all of these though. Nice fan. Okay, just take those. Uh, bleed fire. Where did I get that? I don't remember that. Enemies will bleed fire when hit. Also, coats as more well. Oh, that seems pretty cool. Okay, she definitely needs polymorph. Um, yeah, polymorph too. That's what I'm aiming for with her. Uh, I haven't got. I have to do that, and then I have to sell some stuff to get my money back. <laughs> uh, piece of stuff here. Casual amulet. I 
guess I'll keep those because I've only got three. Um, yeah, I can spell and sell these books because I've read them all now. Got all the recipes out of them. I don't think they give me a lot, but. Sell this plate, I'll keep the crafting stuff. Um, I've got a load of books as well, which we need to use. Uh, there we go, that seems better. That seems a little bit better. Oh, and choose your reward, okay. None of these are actually that good. I'll take the boots. I think we need armor off. They're not weapons. She definitely needs boots, so. Boots, she sell half. Oversized armor paces around a table covered with a spread of maps. His face a tight scowl of frustration. Okay, continue. Every approach blocked. <laughs> what sort of battle tactics against those things anyway? He glances up. In quick succession, he becomes aware of both your presence and the fact that you're not a familiar face. Who the blazes are you? Uh, I'm a sorcerer. I fled from Fort Joy. A sorcerer? Indeed. I should have realized. A seeker can always recognize a sorcerer when they see one. Uh, Pauls. Then say you met an elf named Verdus in Forjoy's dungeon. Do you mention a group who might seek you out? You met Verdus? Then he's as good as dead. We're the seekers he spoke of. We were supposed to free him. Instead, we failed him. Uh, mention that Verdus recognized you as the same as him. Does he know what that might mean? You, a godwoken. Surely not. Though if Verda said so, you could be important. But there's no way to be certain until we've left this blasted island behind us. I'm fine with that. The sooner you leave the place, the better. The young man anxiously fidgets with his curved bow. You found a matter close to his heart, evidently. That's that's easier said than done, I'm afraid. Much easier said. Now, the Magisters have us cornered. They have these weapons called shriekers if we try to go against them unprepared we're dead we've lost many already so there must be a way to overcome these things nothing's invincible after all there's weapons ancient devices that can counter those things our leader sir gareth set out to find them so we could break the magister blockade and escape this island but he hasn't returned if sir gareth doesn't come back with those weapons in tow well this island will be our grave. Okay. I'll look for the Gareth and these weapons if that's what it takes to get off this island. You'll, you'll help us. Be sure you're off the island. Then. Relax. The weighty armor upon them settling with a click. Thank you. The allies are in short supply in this place. If you help us, I promise we'll get you as far away from this place as possible. So you have some questions before you Please leave. ask. Whatever helps. There you go. Who is this Gareth? Sir guy? Gareth. He's the finest seeker I know. I'm honored to serve as his squire. He wouldn't let us down. Not unless 
something's gone horribly wrong. Um, ask how they learned about the source weapon so they can help them against the Shriekers. The masked priestess, Gratiana, told Sir Gareth of them after she granted her shelter here. She was reluctant at first, but, well, Sir Gareth can be very insistent. Speak to her if you wish. She may know more. Um. Okay. Oh, look what he's got. Oh, he's got polymorph skills. Cool. Have one ever stop? Interesting. And then he's got. Oh, he's got some. Uh, the birds are asleep. Some scoundrel skills. And he's got some armor and stuff. Got a cool dagger. So close your sweet eyes. I kind of think the comedian card would be awesome for Sibyl, wouldn't it? I'm gonna get that. But warns. That seems pretty good for, like, um, if we got the Red Prince, he could, like, rush in and attack. physical drama this regenerates each turn but it seems really good as well tentacle lash okay spread your wings wish bonnie barn now don't you cry uh, i don't think this one's actually pretty good it destroys 41 to 45 magic armor and then tries to set sleeping that's actually really good i'm gonna get that for spill and we've already got backlash as well that's a pretty decent one. Has he got any really interesting? He's got some pretty good armor, actually. Although, to be fair, I can't really afford it. Um, crab claw. Okay. I've got so many skills, and like, no one's kind of used the one, <laughs> which is a bit, uh, a bit bad, I guess. Although, to be fair, I didn't pay for all of them, I don't think, so. It's my defense. Okay, we'll just get those for now. I'll take my leave. Thanks, Exeter. The dwarf to. stands by a young woman. He seems intensely focused on her, whispering and singing softly in her ear. She's staring blankly into space. Okay. Wood and bone. Fire and smoke. Death and... and worse. Hush now, Leia. They'll not hurt you again. You're safe now. Once Gareth gets back, we're going home. You'll see. He'll be fine. The woman rubs her neck, raking her nails across her skin as she whimpers. Ask oh, what she's doing to The dwarf neck. starts at the sound of your voice, gripping the woman's arm for a moment before he relaxes. New faces. Hope you aren't bushwhacked by the Magisters too. Nope. As for her neck... She's remembering the damnable source collar she once wore. Lucky for us, she had the skills to remove them. There's many a sorcerer that's been freed thanks to her. The smile I said very lucky to have such a talented sorcerer with them. The dwarf smiles, his eyes filling with warmth as he looks at Leia. Aye, we are at that. He strokes her hair as Leia leans her forehead against his shoulder, muttering quietly about Gareth. Ask why Gareth is so important to Leia. We were part of the caravan headed to Fort Joy. Shiny collars and all. Gareth and the Seekers ambushed the caravan and freed us. Saved every one of us from that hell. But now he's off searching for weapons to take down them Shriekers. And all we can do is sit here, thinking about the Godwoken we didn't save. Ask what he means by Godwoken. From fragments to home. From their past to our future. From their hope to ours. She ain't detailed, but she ain't wrong. The Godwoken are our hope that a new divine can be born. Someone to replace Lucian and push back them Voidwoken. Someone to restore order and protect the source. I'd speak to Exeter if you want to know more. Uh, can we trade with him? Oh, he doesn't have anything. It seems a really... He sounds like a tall order. Yeah, it does. Walk in the park, that's for sure. But it's in the hand we've been dealt. It's on us to find Godwoken like Radus. 
mind you, it'll be a damn sight easier than with weapons that can take on them shriekers. The Magisters will tear us to pieces otherwise. Okay. So you see what you can do to bring Gav back. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> if you have the skill to survive out in that marsh, might be that you can. Please, do what you can. Smoke and flame. Pain and ruin. Okay. Uh, oh, Gratiana. Just the Before you stands a figure, her body wreathed in cloth. All you can see of her eyes are two dark holes in an ornate mask. Armadia's blessings, child. I have not seen this face in our sanctuary before. Pray, who are you? Uh, just trying to escape and extra said she has some info. Okay, your secret knowledge explain that power. I don't ask you that now. I'll try to you escape. seek the same information as Gareth. You stand in the peace of Armadia's love and search for more ways to kill. What creatures we are. Uh, don't let you won't feel peace until you're somewhere safe. And these swamps don't feel safe. I always felt safe in Armadia's presence. But now that the Void Woken stalk the swamp, perhaps you are right. Of course I'm right. On this island, there lies an ancient armory filled with soul-forged weapons powerful enough to turn aside any shrieker. I know about Shrieker, so that's fine. Uh, you nod, and that's where the Seeker Gareth went. Yes, he pestered me for aid. When I finally told him about a cache of Brachus's soul-forged weapons hidden in the mud, he rushed away to find me. A bold okay. move, but ill-advised. Unless he returns with weapons enough, I fear none of these Seekers will leave this island with air in their lungs. Um... Someone had better save him. Ask which way he went. Set off north to the ruins of Brachus's source armory, but there is no way to know what he found there. Even if he survived the swamps, I'll do everything I can to find Walk him. Walk ever in Armadia's grace, child. And what have you got? Dazzling bolt. That looks interesting. Okay, that's pretty cool. Aerithurge 2. I actually have that apparently. So Teleportation. I kind of want that. But. Oh, Bradley Radiance I like as well. Actually, I'll take that. Now we're like out of cash because I keep buying skill books. Uh, well. Except your offer. End. Who's this fella? Kerbin. Let's talk to you. A grim-faced man sifts through a pile of badly damaged weapons, salvaging the repairable, ditching the broken. He picks up a rapier, the blade nicked and splintered, the hilt twisted. Sorry, the no, the sorry condition of the rapier. He holds the damaged blade up to the light. This was Halon's blade. It was his first, it was also his last. He didn't intend to die here, but die here he did. He was an ordinary soul with an extraordinary heart, Halon, and he died for what he believed. Take the rapier, note the bend in the point of the blade, raise the sword, bring it down flat and hard on the edge of the table. The point breaks away, leaving a jagged edge. The sword is shorter now, but it'll do more damage. I'm going to keep are it. You? Yeah, damn right, I'm going to keep it. Shrug, it's just another broken soul trying to get it fixed. Not your goodbyes, turn he away. He stares at you, mouth open. His gaze drops to find, to his surprise, his knuckles white on a weapon in his hand. He smiles to himself, gets back to work. He's got some good stuff. That was actually better than my bow, but... Ooh, he's got some necromancer stuff. Bloodsucker, death wish. Shackles of pain, mosquito swarm. And she have necromancer as well. <laughs> I'm getting too many skills here, are <laughs> Too many skills. Um, what's this deal? Infected deal 3641. Infected target that sees that spread to other nearby characters. Oh, it seems real good. Necromancer 2, though. Seems pretty darn good. Uh, Ray 
exploded corpse. I've seen that before. Uh, these are summoning ones, but we kind of got these already, so that's fine. Plus, he's got some decent armor. Man, we need some money. <laughs> I need more money. I don't have enough money for any of this stuff. Well, that's pretty cool. I'll give that to. Uh, is this a dagger? Yeah, I'll give it to a um, thingy. Is it worth a lot? Uh, no, I won't sell it. It's fine. Okay, we'll come back when we've got some more money. Okay, let's have a look at these skills then that we can drop in. Uh, now we actually have um, Hydra Fistomia. I did want to get that. These we're going to go to. Um, so he's got Pyroket Technic. We do. Okay, so we can do fire as well now. Ignition. Send that one to the Red Prince because that seems to be good for him. It's like an AoE kind of thing. We need Huntsman too. We've got that one. Has anybody else got Huntsman? It's a bill, but she already knows first aid, so that's kind of relevant. We could potentially sell that one, really. I don't think I'm going to get it for anybody else Huntsman. Uh, Communion Cloak, I need to send them to Spill. Core Reform, send them to Spill. Dazzling Bolt. So I've got it. I had four jobs. 
Amidst the placid little pond, the face of a goddess lies half submerged in the water. Looks like she's crying Rivets as well. Rivets stream from her deep-set eyes like endless cascades of sunlit tears. You feel peaceful in her presence, soothed somehow by an intangible comfort. You notice that her face looks familiar. It is the one you saw in the Dungeons of Fortune. As you gaze upon her loving face, you find yourself drawn into a trance-like state. A voice seems to reach you from within your mind and from the furthest reaches of the stars. Its whispers caress you like a breeze. Listen intently, expose yourself to this unearthly voice. The voice grows stronger, like a breeze picking up. What were whispers become words. My children. My children. Gone are my children. Dead are they in the cradle I have brought. Um, give me this right up light. A few fates are worse than us. Observe the news to you that even gods can be stillborn if a goddess shears. A feeling of indescribable sadness assails you. It feels like your heart merges with the spirits, torn together by a coil of thorns. My child, my child, weep with me for the mother who has lost. Weep with me and bathe in the tears of Amadia. Keep your sorrows quiet. Let her grief overcome you and weep for her children. Your tears mingle with those of the goddess down in the tranquil crystalline pond. As suddenly as it came, the voice is gone and you wake from its presence as if from dream-filled slumber. The pond now shines with an inner light and standing in its waters you feel rejuvenated pure as if born anew wow oh, it, it heals us nice i think we actually need healing though so it's good to know that good to know right i think if we spoke to everybody at this camp everybody except we haven't gone this way okay let's go that way then something I noticed I missed as well back uh, somewhere else but I'll, uh, I'll go back there another time for now I want to head around this way if you remember back at the cave where we met the uh, like the elf lady oh we can arrive on these vines that provides us with a little pathway down here that's cool question is what is down here Jesus Christ, didn't we? 
realise he was going to go about that far. Uh, Los. Nice. We might actually be able to take him out here. One. Oh, come on. Do me a break. He's got one HP. <laughs> Oh, no, no. 
washes. Okay, so this is the vault, which is supposed to contain like really powerful weapons, which I mean, I'm, I'm down with that, absolutely. Let's take this. Oh, okay, there seems to be a magic barrier. I saw something move up there, but it could be wrong. I'm actually going to just drop a, a proper save because it might override my quick save. If we get in over our head here, that could be really bad for business. It, it's worth remembering that I've been stung before in this game where I have just relied on quick saves and then just keep overwriting them. And um, uh, then I get to a point where I'm too deep in and then you know can't survive and then I'm like oh shit I'm gonna have to like reload way back uh, and let's have a look here can't like examine that again it's, it's clearly a magic barrier which we need to get through so that's fine oh shit hey that... hey you let me see what you've got under there go on go on show me your hacker <laughs> Ignore his childish comments and tell him, you know, there's a treasure buried here. Demani, tell you where it is. Oh. Why are you still speaking? Trump doy. How awkward. Level is he five? Okay, we can happens. take him. Just stop. No one cares what you have to say. Tell him he's more chance to sort of change his tone or he'll regret it. Still opening that mouth of yours, are you? Careful with that. I quite like the look of it. How awkward. See, the thing is, just stop. No one cares what you have to say. I'll Until next below. time. Okay. Ha! Here today, gone tomorrow. Ah. Life's a dream. This fellow must be quite proud of himself. And again, okay, I'm gonna guess this last one's the same. Okay, now. The douche. This guy's gonna be a pain, isn't he? Now, if you look on the map, it says that we can get through this way. Huh. Clever. Thought so. Is it always a good idea to look on your map? Because sometimes it kinda of reveals to you the little secret passages and things. Not really much good loot, is there around here? I tell you to leave. Wasn't I clear that you're not welcome here? You can't teach a fool anything. Ah, okay. Right. What have we got here? Trump doy. Trump doy. Trump doy. Okay, he's kind of split himself into three. I wonder if they're illusions. Let's examine. So don't use poison because he's undead. Immunity to frozen, immunity to bleeding. He's undead. Uh, water, air, and fire. Are they all the same? Or is there like differences between them? No, so fire is the way to go here. Um, Do 
everything, will it? We can't set bleeding, they can't bleed. I'm gonna keep set haste on the imprint so he can get down there. He's got good fire abilities. Trying to escape, are you? Nice. Oh, we are wrecking this guy. Oh, thanks for casting rain, idiot. What not do? Okay, did you, okay, that was quite good. I, I will say that much. I don't think this little fella can do a lot, really.
to search but you won't find the way a pity suggest they've helped you you might just I cannot help you I only give the questions I do not answer them Brachus has willed it Trump Noe must abide you have met the unfortunate guardian of this book yeah we confirm his suspicions you had the displeasure judge him with a forgiving heart fate has been unkind to him do you wish to move forward yes listen closely and make your attempt Brachus is a bloody, rotten, thieving, very, very awful fellow. Some even call him a cur. A cur is... Um... again. Listen closely. Brachus is a bloody, rotten, thieving, very, very awful fellow. Some even call him a cur. A cur is... Either you're very good at guessing or the slightest bit clever. Let's find out for certain. Listen closely and make your attempt. Source is a scourge, a devil, a misery, a blight, a hex, a curse. And yet, the cure is... Um, I don't actually get what this is. Um, this is weird. Uh, I'm trying to see if the, let, the, the rat's in the letters. Perhaps you're not totally in I'm, I'm guessing or yeah. Or maybe Trompdoy told you the answers. Is that it? Is he hoping you'll... It doesn't matter in any case. The path is open. Go freely. Uh, I know you, but you have proven yourself a knowing traveller. I will answer what I can. Mr. Sigma, you ask what he meant by the cure to source. Brachus Rex discovered the way. This he researched here, upon this isle. He could remove the source from any creature or individual. I saw the stars he used myself. They were most impressive. Last what he meant when he said Trump Doy was kept here by Brachus Rex. Brachus Rex has charged him, tried him, 
convicted and punished him. I know not the crime, but he has been sentenced to remain in this vault for all time and to prevent others from entering. Okay. Trokdoy was and is a creative man. He knew petty magic in his day. But this he has used to carve this place out from a simple vault, myself included. Oh, okay. So what's through those other doors then? What's in there? These are probably a trap, aren't they? Oh no, they're actually not. <laughs> nice. Okay, it's a trap. <laughs> did we give Sabil that dagger? We didn't actually give that dagger to Sabil. Uh, so we give him that one. Then you can have that one. Nice. <laughs> Why does he come up as a sword when it's a dagger? That's weird. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.